Hello everybody and welcome to North Country Ham. My name is Aaron, KD2RSS, and today I want to show you a little project I've been doing working on my Go Box for Ham Radio. So stick around. everybody uh, you know getting right into this ham radio hobby I'm part of uh, you know I try to do field days I'm looking to start doing POTA activations I haven't done them one yet but uh, I'm working towards starting doing uh, POTA and I'm a part of my local Aries races um, for the area so you know I wanted to have a go box that I can just grab my radio put it in the you know protective case put it in the toolbox and away I go and uh, you know I got multiple different uh, tools and accessories and antennas at my disposal so with that let me show you what I've been doing with it and show you what I've got well this is my husky rolling toolbox it's about two foot by like uh, almost four foot long so it should slide right in the bed down to the tonneau cover into my truck and it's on wheels so then of course I've got my uh, solar panel that I picked up so if you look at it you know it's all you know on the solar panel here rolls up it's about 20 inches by 28 inches it's a hundred watt solar panel and all your different hookups, you know, and as well as a solar controller. So we got that to take along. And I've got bungee cords, so I basically can just set this on top with maybe my a folding chair. And um, at most, I'd need a little camp table or something if I'm doing parks on the air or something. Bungee it down. Roll where I'm gonna roll. I'll set this to the side. And just kind of show you quickly what's in here, what I've got so far. So got a wireless keyboard for my uh, Pi. Got my Wolf River foil, platinum, um, silver bullet, you know, the 1000 platinum, along with the mega stand. And I've already got it hooked up to the ground radials. Got a little toolbox here with uh, some miscellaneous crimping pliers and the uh, tri crimps for the Anderson power poles, along with I got all the, got the extra set of all the jaws for it. And power works little uh, you can see here the little power works um, voltage thrown in there just a hand little heat gun small portable heat gun just some miscellaneous tools in there this is just a little mini solar panel that I had for camp and then I just threw this in here it's a little like uh, I don't know, seven watt, something like that. I can hook whatever up to it. it. Doesn't take up much room, so I just threw it in there. In here, we just got some miscellaneous rope and shot cord and carabiners for uh, tie down stuff. 
Just threw that in there, figured that was easy. And the little movable tray here. They've got uh, some extra batteries, double A's, triple A's, nine volts. Uh, I've got just tossed over a couple of my uh, these Anderson power pole kit builds that I did. So I got two of those. I got some metal and heavy plastic uh, tent stakes along with a couple of hammers for that, extra charger kit, power inverter, some ferret. It's a box of uh, ferret chokes. So I have a couple of different this is a battery charger that came along with my um, Bioeno. This is another small uh, battery charger for working with uh, your Light Pro lithium ion battery. So that's just that little kit there. Got my Linksys router that I've got all set up for um, a hand mesh node. Any of my lithium ion bio NO battery. This one's a 12 amp hour. Just some uh, miscellaneous, like a power pole extension here. I've got a little bit of 14 gauge stranded wire, maybe for a ground or something. I just do that in there. Got a length, uh, 50 foot length of. Uh, 213 here. Now this is it's about 30 foot approximately the way it is right there. Um, little ammo can here. It's got my, a volt meter in it. I got this here ammo can. Got my Raspberry Pi and some miscellaneous cords and a little seven inch touchscreen display. And along with a cordless mouse that matches the keyboard for my Pi, which I've got installed a complete uh, ham ham suite on it. Uh, thanks to KM4ACK for his build a Pi. That's what I've got installed on it. Got my case here that I've got all cut for my radio. My uh, 991A will fit right here with its uh, power cord and stuff right there, so I can put it right in the case. Slide it right in my bin here to go. Got a uh, toolbox in here with just miscellaneous uh, coax fittings and tools and uh, Allen wrenches and heat shrink and dia dielectric grease and silicone grease and just a uh, handy, you know, handy to have a little bit of everything if I need it. And of course, on top of that, I've got my homemade power supply. My built-in little power supply that I did for uh, what I got in here is those uh, Marathi Marathi. Uh, batteries. We got two 16 amp hour ones inside here. So I've got 32 amp hours to put out at the voltage. Of course, I got Anderson power pole hookups on here, dual USB there, and SAE on this side. Just a cigarette lighter, 12 volt plug on that side. And then, of course, as you've seen on the video, positive and negative quick connects there. So I got the battery, that power supply in there. And then I got another length of coax here. This one's 50 foot. So I got a 50 foot 213 there. I got a, about a 30 footer there of 213. And then in this bag, I got my chameleon spider ASB to use with ham sticks, which I've got ham sticks in a case. Uh, I took a gun, a cloth gun case. So I've got 15, 17, 20, and 40 for ham sticks. And then in here, get about 100 foot of RG8 um, coax. I've got an 80 meter and the 80 meter dipole that I built myself. 
So we got a dipole antenna in here, along with the coax and the chameleon with the ham sticks. So as you can see, I've got a, this closes a couple different options for antennas, a couple different options for uh, everything. So this is my to-go box that I set up to go to for coda field days uh aries and races events so we'll, let's get this all set back in here the way i've got i got power supply i got a way to charge everything keep everything charged up I can put my uh, my headphones too that I've got. And I'm ready to go POTA or field day. An easy way to go. Okay, well that was what I've currently got set up for my go box. Now that's one of those things that you know when you're dealing with ham radio that is always going to be changing. You're always going to be finding other items or tools or stuff you want to have in there. Things you found that you just don't need or, and can take out. And, you know, it's just a growing process and you'll find what works best for you. It's definitely a good idea to have something like that. It'll, it could kind of help you forget items at the house that uh, say you go out for a field day or poda and you're, oh, I left that at home. <laughs> you know, something like this could help prevent that, so... I hope everybody appreciated it. With that, I'll say 7-3 and get on the air.